what's up it's Kathy and I'm back with another process video and this one is for paper issues and this one is for my blog post for the month of March and I always try to have like a theme or a challenge or an idea or something in my blog posts and so this time uh, I'm going with a kiss uh, <laughs> layout which is keep it simple stupid which is something I have to remind myself sometimes because not when you're just on design teams, but even just in general, like I know first and foremost, this is a hobby, you know, that we all have fell in love with. But for some of us, it's it's more than a hobby. It's, it's an art form for some of us. It's uh, like a career path or an ambition. Um, and when you're doing both as a hobby for yourself, but also for other people to see or to judge, you can be really hard on yourself. And you're always thinking you need to do something inventive and brand new and something that no one's seen before. But you know, sometimes the old formulas can really work the best. And this is why I'm doing my KISS layout. So I had to tell myself to keep it simple, stupid. And I'm not saying anybody's stupid. I'm just, I like using that term. <laughs> keep it simple, stupid. Anyway, so my first thought is, okay, first way to keep it simple, grid layout. Um, so easy to do either like a um, four or six or nine little squares in the middle of a page. I'm going to go with four and they're not going to be, two of them are not going to be square. They're going to be more rectangular and then the other two are going to be square. But I'm like, okay, well, here's the great first step for, you know, advice on keeping it simple is do a grid layout. Second is to choose a neutral or, you know, choose a neutral background. Now, in my case, it's almost completely neutral. It's wood grain and it is kind of varying into like a white wood grain, but it is at its core a uh, a neutral one, um, just simply because it's wood grain. So there's not a lot of pattern or anything like that going on on it. So I can pretty much add more pattern on top. If I was to use something really heavily patterned, then I'd have to really think about the other uh, layers that I was putting on. <laughs> My other suggestion is to um, to go with like cut aparts. So that ready set go is a three three by four uh, whatever you call it <laughs> project life kind of card journaling card, which is great because it's like a huge embellishment all on its own, and so it's taking up a a square really easily. I'm using frames, another easy way to get squares, using square frames. Um, and I guess kind of my other idea was to primarily use one um, manufacturer and one collection. And I don't completely because the background is from the Little U collection that Crate Paper put out a little while ago. And a few of the papers are from, or the, some of the papers I used for layering are from the Go Now Go collection from Chamel. Um, and that, uh, that striped paper was just one that was kicking around, that black and white striped paper. I think it may have been an older pink paisley paper. <clears throat> anyway, but a lot of my embellishments are all going to be chipboard or ephemera from the same collection and that way it's all coordinating together. I made sure that all the other colors I was using were coordinating together so I didn't really have to worry about color choices. Um, I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to lay it out. I know that if I have like some chipboard down below that I want some chipboard up top like I want dimension uh, in in all parts of it just to keep it kind of <clears throat> visually appealing like for instance if, if everything was really flat in one square 
and the rest was not. It's It kind of reminds me of Sesame Street where it's just like one of these things just doesn't belong here and that one's going to stand out to me. So it's kind of, I've, I've mentioned it before, like if I'm going to put acetate in one spot, then I'm going to want acetate in a different spot. I don't just want one thing of acetate unless I'm doing like one large embellishment cluster. That's fine. In that sense, that can work. But if I'm going to be doing two different squares kind of decorated and embellished, then I kind of want it to be similar. So I backed the little frames with vellum. And of course, you barely see it, but it's just kind of enough that it gives a little bit of interest. Um, I just really want to use that dinosaur. Nothing in the picture has anything to do with dinosaurs. But I just really want to use that dinosaur because I just love them. So I do end up putting him there. And I love that tag that says best kid. Like this picture is one of those everyday shot pictures that doesn't necessarily have a background or story to it. It's just a picture that I took that I was actually really, really happy about. Um, and for the longest time, I did not want to scrap it because I just did not know what to do with it. And so I guess that was kind of my other challenge to myself was to grab one of those pictures that I've got kicking around. And when I say kicking around, I mean on my computer um, that I have not scrapped yet, but that I adore. So I'm challenging myself. And of course, you know, some of the reason is I don't feel I can do the picture justice. In some cases, I'm worried the, the layout won't be good enough, that kind of thing. But by saying to myself, like, keep it simple, then I'm able to focus a little bit more. My ideas are not all over the place, and I kind of know where I'm starting, and that really helps. So since there's sayings and stuff down below, I want some sayings up top, just like a piece of something. And... Uh, I like that hey buddy the the like hammers chipboard so that helps bring in the chipboard I'm just kind of I don't really want to cover up the dinosaur's feet too much <laughs> um but yeah uh I'm gonna grab some of the stickers and I had to <laughs> I had to stop uh I wasn't I didn't stop filming but I had to cut out the part where I stopped and went on my computer to find out how old my son was when this picture was taken. Because originally I was going to put a piece of ephemera that said five. And then I'm like, I don't think he was five when this was taken. I love doing stuff like that little trick there. And it's so subtle and no one really cares. But there was a sticker that was the exact same size and it was the exact same as that piece of acetate. It just had the roar in silver. And I was like, I'm just going to fit it perfectly on top. And I love doing stuff like that. I just think it looks super cute. Now, in hindsight, I should have considered popping it up on foam dots. That would have looked even cooler, but I didn't, but I still like it. I still think it's cool. I just add something. And again, there's silver up top now because the roar is silver. So I bring down a silver arrow uh, just to kind of uh, give that, that symmetry. Now, I can't figure, and that little that little road with the that the acetate road I just I just think it looks cute there just it's not even anything it's just sitting there but I like it now I'm debating like what is the title gonna be is there gonna be a title I mean there's already a lot going on with phrases and stuff so this is like an old crepe paper I think it was called like so rad or I don't know what it was called I can kind of read it there but not Anyway, it's an old sticker sheet and it said all boy and I like that. So I do fiddle around with where that's going to go. Um, it's not really the title. I just liked it. Um, I think I end up using the title awesome boy. I don't really like the phrase all boy or like boys will be boys. I'm just kind of past that now. So anyway, or best kid. I don't know. It could be anything or ready, set, go. It's just it's just this sweet picture of him in the tire swing that's in our front yard and the sun's kind of setting and I think it's either like spring or fall. I think it was in November, maybe. I don't know. I feel like it was in November. 
<laughs> anyway, I just love how sweet he looks in this picture. And, uh, yeah. No, it's... You know, there was really, in the end, nothing to it. Once I knew what I was going to do, once I picked the grid design, it's just kind of all comes together from there. That's my my little pony, like, drinking cup or something. I bought it for my daughter, and she didn't really want it. It's like the old school My Little Ponies that I grew up with, and it's really big, so I think it's kind of more for, like, drinking. I don't know. And I bought one that was, like, an old school Ninja Turtle one that my husband kind of uses, not that we really drink very often. Anyway, <laughs> finish it up. I'm using my good old black paint mixed with water to get some nice big matte drops. And I'm going crazy with the drops. I want a nice messy background for this because it just, you know, it's, it's boys, it's dirty. So <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Pictures are coming up, and if you are shopping at Paper Issues and you use the code CATMARTIN, you can get 20% off. And I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!